All right, it's chips of the day. Everybody loves chips of the day. Um, whoever uh, donated these parts to the store, somebody gave them to the store, and the store just sold them as a lot, saying, "Here you go. You make you make heads or tails out of it." Um, a lot of times, engineers will be designing a circuit, and they're not quite sure which part they want, so they buy a bunch of them to try them out, right? And this guy must have been doing that because these are all 74125s, which is a tri-state buffer, but all different flavors. He has a AHC, an AHCT. Um, so the difference between these is the T means that it is um, TTL compatible inputs. The, and the other one is CMOS levels. So this one's TTL levels, that's one's CMOS levels. He also has a VHC1G. Oh, this is, these are all 1Gs. Um, and uh, yeah, that it's a different one. I'm not sure what VHC, I don't think I've used that one before. I don't know anything about it. And then this one is an LVC low voltage CMOS, we've, we've seen those before. And this one's two gates. So these are one gates, so this is a two gate. So all different flavors, but they're all basically 74125s. So let's take a look at that on a data sheet. All right, uh, so this one is a 74 AHCT one gate, uh, 125. So this one will work uh, four and a half to five and a half volts, uh, six nanosecond zoomy times. Um, and so if people aren't familiar what, with what a tri-state buffer is, if this wasn't here, then it would just be a buffer. The input would be equal to the output. It would just be a buffer. And why would you want a buffer? Well, you might not be able to drive. Maybe your device over here can only drive one milliamp, and this thing can drive several milliamps, and you want to buffer it. A lot of times they used for actual buses back in the days when they had buses. Um, I mean, we still use buses, but I mean, back in the old 8-bit, 16-bit days, you were always dealing with buses. Now you might have... Uh, a USB bus or something like that. So only a couple lines, but you can use these things. They are tri-statable. So what does tri-state mean? Well, if you have a um, a normal uh, a normal gate, okay, a normal gate might look like might look like this, okay. You have a push pull, and you have an output, right? And um, so it can either be high or it can be low, all right. And what if you have a whole bunch of people who want to talk on the same line? Well, one guy can't be low when you're driving at high. You'll, you'll get a collision, okay? And so this is a tri-state line that comes here, output enable. So when the output enable is low, then this thing works as described. But when it is high, then there's no output. And both of these transistors just float. And so you can do whatever you want out here. And this thing just looks like it's not there at all. Um, kind of a, a cheapy version of that is open collector or open drain, okay? You might have something like this. And uh, a lot of circuits use this where you can uh, have a whole bunch of people on there and only one person can pull down because if two people pull down you don't know who's doing it um, and but the the resistor on the top keeps everybody from not blowing up um, but you do have data collisions here okay well you have data collisions here too but anyway tri-state buffer okay uh, let's see it uh, there are these funny little packages and uh, this one is uh, supply voltage four and a half to five and a half plus or minus eight milliamps. So, so that's 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 pretty good. All right, let's take a look at another one. Here is a a VHC. Uh, let's take a look at him. Um, now he has a much wider VCC range. He can go from two volts to five and a half. So. Uh, that is good. Also plus or minus 8 milliamps. And if you noticed, you need to spend some time and learn how to read data sheets. Data sheets are confusing. All right. So on this data sheet, these are both 
Oh, this is on semiconductor. Okay, so on semiconductor and Texas Instruments. So Texas Instruments says input high current, output high current, uh, low current. So um, it's it's spelled right out here in milliamps, okay? If you take a look at the on semiconductor and you look for something, I always look for units. Okay, voltage, voltage, microamps. Uh, I don't see any milliamps anywhere. So uh, you kind of have to go inside one of the specs. There's a voltage output level and for different load conditions. And so here is the eight milliamps. It's, it's kind of hidden under the test conditions instead of actually something that's, you know, published. So yeah, you need to, you need to learn how to read digits. Everybody does it a bit differently. Uh, this one is an LVC and that one is good from 1.65 to 5.5. And look at this. Um, at four and a half volts, you can go plus or minus 32 milliamps. Woo! So if he bought these parts and he said, I need a certain current level, you know, he might find out the other ones aren't up to snuff. Eight milliamps wasn't going to cut it. He needed 11 milliamps. And then this part over here would do 11, 11 milliamps very nicely, even at three volts VCC, right? So uh, one of the reasons to buy lots of different parts to try to figure things out. All right, so I have put two of the parts on boards. Uh, so let's try it out. I need... Um, I need some voltage here. Now we have to figure out which, which one we have. I think they're all good for five volts though, right? Was I, yeah, they were all good for five volts. So we can just use five volts. Um, okay, this is ground and this is plus. And we have a high level going out. That's because we have a, let's see, this one is the AHCT. Okay, let's get that data sheet. AHCT. AHCT is, is good for eight milliamps. It's light, lighting up the LED for eight milliamps. And let's take a look at its pinout. All right. So its pinout is pin one is output enable and pin two is the input. So pin two, I have high. And if I put pin two output low, so it, it's following whatever I'm giving it. Here's the data, a high data and a low data, a high data and a low data, okay? I data. Now, what if I want to tri-state it? Well, tri-stating it is pin one pulled, uh, it's pulled low right now, which is not output enabled. Remember it was bar over the, uh, bar over the OE, that means not true level. So when it's low, it means that output is enabled. And if I go to high, then it floats. Okay. So this one's working, working the same way. All right. Let's try this one. This one is a VH, a VH. Uh, where's the VH, VH, here we go, this one. Uh, okay, and let me make sure the pinout, pinout is the same. One, two, three, four, yes it is. Pinout is the same, so I can just hot plug it. I'm gonna rip this one out. <laughs> Put this one in. Okay, there we go. Let's change pin two's level, low, high, and we'll change the pin one. Tri-state, not tri-state. So they operate exactly the same in the circuit, all right? Um, I'm not gonna show the other ones, but you get the idea that uh, there's a lot of different ways to skin the cat and a lot of different parts you need to figure out speed, propagation delay, current consumption, drive levels, voltage levels, VCC levels. There's a whole bunch of things to consider and that's why they make so many different types of parts.